We all know about the most popular 1960s fads, such as mood rings, bell-bottom jeans, and tie-dye clothing. However, the 1960s was a rich decade that had a lot more fads beneath the surface. In this list, we're going to look at some of the most bizarre and dangerous trends that were popular in the 1960s. Make sure you stick around till the very end, where we will reveal a popular fad that led to a secret government-developed program. And if you're excited to learn some of the weirdest 1960s fads, click the like button. And make sure you subscribe to Factsverse for more videos. Facts First presents 20 Bizarre 1960s Fads with Insane Origins Sea Monkeys These days, products like Worm on a String and Fushigi Gravity Balls are designed to trick children into spending money through enticing advertisements. However, this tactic is not at all new. In the 1960s, the pet known as sea monkeys was all the rage in the younger generation. This novelty pet was advertised as being similar in appearance to a tiny human with fins. Excited children would see the ads in comic books and spend months saving up for the little creatures. However, after dumping the eggs into an aquarium, the result was quite disappointing. Instead of the joyous mermaids they had seen advertised, kids found out that their sea monkeys were just ordinary brine shrimp. Surprisingly, the founding company that sells sea monkeys is still alive and well, although word has gotten around by now that it's all a sham. Lava Lamps A British man named Edward Craven Walker would change mood lighting for years to come with his invention of the lava lamp. One day in 1963, he was watching an egg timer at a pub that was made from a cocktail shaker. The shaker had been filled with liquid, which began to bubble from the heat of the stovetop. He soon hired a man named George Smith to invent a formula that combined paraffin wax, tetrachloride, mineral oil, and water. This was put inside a heated glass tube, allowing it to bubble and create pretty mood lighting. Ironing your hair Having perfectly straight hair was one of the biggest fashion trends for women in the 1960s. If you were born with naturally wavy or curly hair, however, this new style was a bit difficult to pull off. Someone, however, was smart enough to pull out an ironing board and iron. Soon, girls were ironing their friends' hair on Friday nights before going to the movies. With enough hairspray, it was sure to stay straight and fashionable. Of course, this exercise took a lot of trust. If you left the iron in one place for too long, your hair would burn off. Thankfully, the invention of the hair straightener eventually replaced this potentially dangerous trend. Jelly Sandwiches One popular sandwich recipe arose during the 1960s that would hardly be considered delicious today. This horrendous recipe, known as the jelly sandwich, may not sound bad as first. But when you learn what goes into this atrocious snack, however, you'll be grateful for your PB&Js. Jelly sandwiches not only included copious amounts of grape jelly, but they also used a slice of American cheese. Then the monstrosity was grilled in a pan. Can you think of a more bizarre combination? If you're happy this trend has died out, click the like button right now. Driving without baby safety. Car seats for babies are not only essential, but it's illegal not to use one for your infant. However, in the 1960s, only rudimentary car seats had been invented, and they certainly weren't considered necessary. Some parents simply strapped their babies in with a regular seatbelt, and others were perfectly fine with their baby crawling around in the back seat completely untethered. It wasn't until 1985 that new laws made parents use proper vehicle safety concerning their children. While some of the fads on the list are funny, this one is just plain dangerous. Nowadays, child safety in vehicles is much more evolved, especially since there are finally laws in place. Giving birth alone in the 1960s, it was unheard of for men to accompany their wives while they went through labor. Instead, they simply read magazines or paced anxiously in the waiting room. There was even a specific kind of room built especially for men while their wives were giving birth, called the Stork Club. In the late 60s and 70s, however, women began marching for equal rights and more involvement from their husbands. Now, most men accompany their wives while they endure the hardships of labor. Even if childbirth can be a horrifying thing to witness, it's far scarier for the person going through it. And women always appreciate having their partner nearby for moral support. Poisonous Antiseptic Science and medicine have come a long way over the decades, but it's still shocking to discover what terrible things people used to put in their bodies. In the 1960s, an over-the-counter drug known as mercurochrome was used as a popular antiseptic. Children with scraped knees or cut fingers would go to their mothers for a bandage and a quick slathering of mercurochrome on the affected area. What's so shocking about this product is that it contained mercury, which is now known to be extremely dangerous. While the product was never officially banned, people eventually saw sense and the product was pulled off the shelves. Excessive drinking. The popular show Mad Men helped to solidify the concept that you should always have a drink in hand. Cocktails are popular at all hours of the day. In fact, it wasn't uncommon for people to bring drinks with them to work. Anyone learning this now would think alcoholism would be far more widespread in the 60s than it is today. Surprisingly enough, however, people in the 60s drank less alcohol per capita than people today. This might be attributed to binge drinking, which is far more popular nowadays than it was in the 60s. It's also likely that the alcohol content per beverage was lower at the time. Big Hair 
While straight hair was considered extremely fashionable in the 1960s, another popular trend was teasing your hair to make it as big as possible. Hair helmets and beehives took copious amounts of time and teasing, as well as bottles of hairspray. The result was impressively huge and glamorous hair. This classic bouffant hairdo may have died out by the mid-70s, but the instantly recognizable shape sticks with us in fond memories of the 60s to this day. Excessive tanning. In the 1960s, men and women alike loved to cover their bodies in thick lotions before lying down in the sun for hours. You may assume this lotion was sunscreen, but it was actually suntan lotion. Brands such as Coppertone advertised lotion that would give you the deepest possible tan, but they offered zero protection from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. In fact, sun protection factors, also known as SPF, weren't introduced in America until 1972. These sunscreens are designed to protect you from the harmful radiation that can cause skin cancer. In the 1960s, however, people were completely ignorant of the dangers of UV light and focused only on getting the best tan. Thankfully, modern medicine has come a long way since then. Hitchhiking Today we recognize just how dangerous hitchhiking can be. While it's not unheard of for people to get rides from random cars passing by, it's way more frowned upon than it used to be in the 1960s. Spurred on by the hippie movement, which advocated a free-spirited nature and wandering, many people were looking to get out of town and go on a great adventure with no particular destination in mind. Smoking while pregnant. For quite some time, nobody knew just how dangerous smoking truly was. It became especially popular in the 1960s, where people would fill rooms up with cigar smoke without thinking twice about it. Women were perfectly fine smoking even with a baby due any day. Nowadays, we know that smoking has a very high chance of causing cancers as well as birth defects. Thankfully, research eventually proved the dangers of smoking, and you're far less likely to come across a pregnant woman smoking today than in the 1960s. Giving babies caffeine. Now, I don't know why you'd want a baby, which is already pretty loud and energetic, also be buzzed with caffeine. However, this was normal in the 1960s. In a book entitled Bringing Up Babies, Dr. Walter Sackett claimed that coffee and tea were natural things to give babies as young as a year old. He reasoned that at least coffee and tea contained less sugar than soda. The question this brings up is, who on earth was giving their babies soda? Caffeine at such a young age can cause serious heart problems, especially if it's given every day. Today, you'd get some pretty weird looks if you ordered a cappuccino for your baby at Starbucks. Car stuffing. The 1960s brought with it the era of hippies, who were especially fond of the brand new Volkswagen Beetle. These tiny yet adorable cars made it a bit difficult to safely transport large amounts of people at once. True to the decade, however, people in the 60s weren't all that concerned about safety. Instead, they made it a game to see just how many people they could fit in one vehicle. The established world record found a total of 20 people stuffed inside one small car. Baby doll dresses. Baby doll dresses are still used in some forms of fashion today, but it's often looked at with controversy. Many people feel that, because the purpose of the garment is to make women look like they are young girls, it can dangerously hypersexualize youth. However, the issue is more complicated than it seems. In the 1960s, women wore baby doll dresses as a way to combat social norms. The 60s was also a time of political revolution, and many people were fighting hard for women's rights. The baby doll dress was just one of the many ways that women rebelled against gender norms. Forms. Dangerous toys. Children's toys and games have changed a lot over the years, and they're far less dangerous today than the toys invented in the 1960s. Jarts were one such popular toy that ended up sending over 6,000 people to the hospital. This toy was a giant dart and tipped with a metal spike, and it was designed to be thrown across a lawn. In the 1980s, a young girl was killed by the toy, and her father eventually managed to get the dangerous invention banned in 1988. Smoking on planes. Air travel has certainly changed since the 1960s. One of the biggest differences is that people used to be perfectly comfortable smoking while riding on planes. Research had not yet come about how dangerous cigarettes and cigars were, and nobody knew about secondhand smoke either. Even if you didn't smoke yourself, you'd have a hard time finding a plane that wasn't filled to the brim with haze. In the 1960s, there were hardly any areas designated for non-smoking. Restaurants, offices, and even hospitals were all considered perfectly fine places to smoke. Drinking from the hose. Drinking from the hose may seem harmless. In fact, you may have done it yourself as a child. However, cool water on a hot summer day should come from inside the house. One scientific study revealed that hose water can contain extremely harmful chemicals, such as BPA, antimony, and lead. In the 1960s, however, drinking from the hose was a simple way to stay cool and hydrated, no matter the temperature. 
fallout shelters. The 1960s was the height of America's Cold War against Russia. There was a constant fear of nuclear war, leading many Americans to design their own fallout shelters. Even if some households couldn't afford to build one, they at least developed a plan for if nuclear war happened to break out. This included stocking up on canned goods, as well as finding friends and family members who would be willing to share their shelter. Legal LSD LSD was a popular drug among hippies in the 1960s, but it was also completely legal until 1968. This hallucinogenic also played a huge part in the shockingly dark history of the American government. The CIA developed a clandestine operation known as Project MK Ultra. This terrifying program was designed to test whether or not certain drugs could be used as mind control techniques. Oftentimes, these mind control experiments were conducted on civilians who had no idea they were even being tested. Fads have always been a part of the different decades of America, but the 1960s had some truly bizarre and oftentimes dangerous trends. Which fads do you think are more ridiculous? The fads of the 60s or the fads in America today? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to like this video as well as subscribe to Facts Verse for more content.